Hey everybody, welcome to my Darkest Dungeon playthrough, and this is for week number two in game time. Now where we left off, we got to the Hamlet, because I just started the game. And now that I'm in the Hamlet, I have saved all of my currency, as you can see down here in the lower left-hand corner. This is all of the currency, the bust, the portraits, the deeds, the crest. That's to upgrade all of these different buildings here within the Hamlet. And you can do a lot of different things with these. You can up, upgrade your uh, player skills. You can upgrade your gear. You can buy different uh, small little trinkets. You can upgrade and change around your camping skills. You can get rid of the stress or madness. There's a lot of things to do. There's a lot of things to upgrade. <clears throat> but seeing this is a, <clears throat> a combat heavy game, I'm going to pretty much raise up my blacksmith first and my guild because those are the two most important things to get a good start in the game to me i'm new to the game so you know don't take my word for it it's not the end all be all <clears throat> i'm still learning the game but i'm gonna you know try to upgrade my blacksmith and guild as much as i can so now that i've Kind of explain where i'm at in the game i'm going to go ahead and, and embark on a mission and every time you embark on a mission it takes pretty much a week and i have a roster of four characters right now and i can have a maximum of nine because of the stress mechanic you're going to have a lot more than than nine characters i think you can have up to like 12 or 16 because when you upgrade your your stagecoach, which is a recruitment house, you know you can pick up more heroes to add to your roster, and then you can switch them out depending on what area that you're going in to explore. I'm pretty sure that has something to do with it too, because I'm sure some some classes are probably going to be more efficient than other classes. But there's a whole slew of different different classes in this game, so there's a lot of variety. There's a lot of things that I need to learn, and there's a lot of micromanaging that's going to be involved. And I'm really looking forward to playing this. So let's go ahead and embark on a mission, shall we? I picked up two uh, two new heroes, uh, which I need to name my heroes. I, I named Shemgra last time. So uh, my rogue, let's go ahead and rename him Barian. I think Barian's a good name. Barian's one of my one of my players in my Adventures League game. So we've got uh, Lanquitot. She is a, a Vestal, which is like a, uh, I guess it's sort of like a, a cleric. We're going to go ahead and rename her. Let's uh, rename her Scarlet. And then we have our Plague Doctor, which is sort of like a, a ranged class, has a little bit of heals, has some some uh, debuffs that you can do on the enemies. Let's uh, let's call this guy Kel Ash, because I have a uh, Kel Ash in another one of my Adventures League games. So I'm gonna try to name all of these heroes that I get after players that I have, so it'll kind of give me a little bit of a a heads up on which class they are okay so now that i've got that and and you could see here now that i have the the character sheet open you can see that there's all kinds of skills that are locked and that's pretty much what this place the guild is because you can unlock the other skills and then you can upgrade them i think up to level five or so but the thing is is after after the first couple of embarks that we do our adventures we'll start getting these buildings unlocked and eventually they'll all be unlocked and then I can start you know switching skills around and start to locking in perks and stuff like that so all right let's get going so as I explained last time when you finish a mission it sells everything in your inventory everything it just sells everything for you except for your small little trinkets and they go into your trinket inventory. And these can be common trinkets that any class can use, or they can be class specific. But those 
they don't get sold back. And plus you can get those as quest rewards also. Or you can buy them from the little nomad wagon here. All right, so we're gonna embark. So the first thing I need to do is figure out where I'm gonna go. I don't have a lot of choices. Uh, I'm gonna go to the runes because obviously it'll tell you here, it's a apprentice level one quest and it's a, very, it's a short quest. I have another quest available in the darkest dungeon, but that's a level six quest and I will literally probably get my ass kicked right off the bat. I probably won't even make it past the, the first encounter. So we're going to go with what they give us. We're going to do the, uh, we're going to go into the ruins and you can see you have your roster down here. You get to choose four of your uh, heroes to go into whatever uh, area that you want to explore and hunt. So there's four spots that go from right to left. This is spot one where Shemgra is, spot two where Baron is, spot three and four. Now on the character sheets, I showed you guys last time, it shows each class's preferred position. And Shemgra here, the Crusader, which is like a paladin, he prefers spot one or two. So I've got him in spot one. He's gonna be my heavy tanker. Baryon, he prefers spot two or three. And you'll see that these are kind of, they fade out. So they, they can they can do okay, but they really prefer the, the nice bright uh, bubbles there. So I'm gonna keep him in spot two. Scarlet, she actually prefers uh, position one or two, but I've already got Shem in one. So let's move Baryon back to number three. And then we'll put Scarlet here in two. And then Kel Ash, he prefers three, but he'll also be okay in position number four. So we'll put him there. Okay, our heroes are ready to go. Here's what the rewards are gonna be for completing this if we survive. We'll get 3,000 gold, four crest, and a common stun charm with uh, some stun resists and a little bit of a uh, negative to dodge. And that can be used by any of my classes. Okay, so we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and hit provision next down here at the bottom. And now we go to the provision store and we have to prepare for our adventure, which is actually kind of cool. This is part of the micromanaging that I actually have. I'm still learning the game, like I said, so I don't know what is the most most efficient stuff that I that I really need. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy food because you need food. So let's. I think you can do stacks of twelve food. This is a short quest, so I'm gonna get a couple extra foods. Uh, you're gonna need torches. I believe those can go stacks of eight, and I'm gonna get a couple extra torches. Uh, keys, you want to be able to unlock the chest or whatever, uh, maybe there's a, a bookcase or something. So let's buy two keys. Medicinal herbs, these can be pretty useful. Bandages, I, I don't remember a whole lot of bleeding stuff raw off the bat, so I'm going to pass on those, but we're definitely going to need those later. Uh, holy water is the same way. I'll buy a holy water. I had one, but I'm going to buy another one. Uh, because I think in the ruins, there's a lot of undead. And then holy water. I got two already. I don't need any of this. A lot of them. But shovels. Let's get a couple of shovels in case there's any obstacles in the way. And we have to use a shovel to get rid of them. So you only get one tab for inventory. I'm not too sure if you get more tabs for inventory, if you get higher level, I'm not too sure. It looks like there might be a couple other tabs available, but I can't, I can't be sure. I'll find out later, that's, that's for sure. Okay, so we're ready to go. So now we're going into the runes with a level one apprentice quest. So this is our, our true, this is our first expedition. And the whole, the, the key is to get out of there with the least amount of stress that I can get out of there. And I don't have a stress reducing class, really. I mean, the plague doctor can get rid of a little bit, 
but he can only get rid of like one at a time. So I'm going to accrue a lot more than, you know, what I'm going to be able to get rid of. So let's click continue. Let's go in. And we are, oh wow, this is actually, there's seven rooms here. We got a little mini map down here in the lower right. And let's, uh, let's continue on. Let's go to the first room. And sometimes you're, you're, depending on what your scouting skill is for different heroes, they'll scout ahead and tell you what's, what's going to be here. So we're just moving forward and you can see, oh, there it is. There you go. There's a, a curio, which this should give us a torch. All right. So we salvaged one and then you just loot it and then it adds it. And here up here, speaking about torches, this bar up at the very top, this is your light. And as you move, see how the, the bar goes down? You just keep losing more and more light. And that's why you have torches. And then when you click on a torch, as you can see, it goes and expands the, the bar for, for light. So the darker it gets, I, I think the better chance you have for loot, it said in one of the tips. Okay, so we got a couple of skeletons, and I'm going to go ahead and use Grape Shot. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Let's use a debuff target, minus 20% damage. Let's do that to the first guy. Wow, I actually killed him. So now I'm going to smite this guy and hopefully take him out. Wow, that was easy. That was nice. So I got 350 gold, so I'm going to take it. Now there's a chest here also. And when I click on the chest, it says it's an unlocked strong box. That's good, so I don't have to use a key. So let's open the chest. All right. And remember, my, my crusader here, he's got that hindrance or that quirk that he'll steal stuff from the party. So I have to get that taken care of. I have to get rid of that from the asylum, I think. But I did get an, I got another shovel, a couple more buffs, and some more gold. So, wow, I'm off to a good good start. So let's go to our back to our mini map, and then we'll go ahead and my guys are scouting now, as you can see. Holy cow! And then it kind of tells you what what's going on. So let's move to the next room, and it looks like we're going to have a an obstacle. Which here's the obstacle. So I'll have to use a shovel. So I click on the shovel, deducts one, and then it gets rid of the, the obstacle. And then looks like we're going to have a combat here too. Okay, so I've got three undead now. All right, so I get to hit all three of these guys with my grape shot, which is nice. All right. Ooh. Oh, the old tentacle attack. And you can see that she moved back. So that means that she was actually uh, pushed. All right, so there's really nothing I can do, but I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and move back up. I'm going to switch positions. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and attack this, this first guy, kill him. Now they get to attack. All right, my plague doctor... He gets a ranged blight attack. He gets a ranged stun. Uh, then I can do a, a heal. And uh, let's see. I guess I'm in pretty good shape. Let's let's heal the cleric for one. I know it's not a lot, but that's just less food that I, I'm going to have to use. All right, so my plague doctor was hit. So it's a new round, and I, I actually get to go again. All right, let's do a blight on this guy. Ah, and he resisted. So let's do grape shot again. Bam. And remember, you got to kill the corpses. This is a simple game, but it's actually really fun. I... I really enjoy the game. It's really fun. The old tentacle attack. All right. Oh, I actually missed. Well, at least when you get rid of the corpses, it brings the the targets closer to you. Oh, cool. So I got a key, more gold, and then a uh, 375 gold piece gem. 
And then when you get back to the mini map down here, uh, we're ready to go to the next room. Well, you just click on the door, you go in, and now I get to choose which way I want to go. Do I want to go up to the north or do I want to go to the right? Let's go ahead and go. Let's go up north. Let's go to this next room. There's a curio. And those are the little things that you can click on. So this is uh, about the torch. I've already explained that. You can see that the the level of the torch is going down. And it, and it actually gets a little bit darker. Uh-oh. So I got I got a couple things. I'm gonna switch to my my uh, highwayman. Okay, so ooh, there's a big chest there. Holy crap! All right. Oh, that's that's a bad start. I think these guys bleed with the claws, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and I didn't bring any bandages like a dummy. So let's let's get rid of this guy at front that bleeds. Oh my god. 14? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Nice crit heal for two. <laughs> wow. 14 damage. That's just absolutely insane. Just what I need to lose my highway, man, right off the bat. Oh my gosh, she got 20. And see how the, the white bubbles are going up too on the characters? That means they're getting more and more stress. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to die there. Okay, so that guy's dead. Now I need to heal Barian. That's still not a lot. Ugh. A 14 crit. That was like... That was absolutely ridiculous. Ah, uh, a 10 crit heal. That's nice. That was the one that hit me really hard. That skeleton there. Alright, so he should be gone. He's almost healed back up to full. All right. So we're out of combat. That was that's pretty stressful. Wow, that was actually really nice. Holy cow. A thousand gold sapphire. And then four crests. Yeah, and you really need the crests. The crests are really important. And uh, there's no light. So you get more stress and stuff. So as I click the torches... It frees up more inventory, of course. And uh, let's unlock this chest. It's an heirloom chest. I'm going to use a key on it. Still. So I got some more food. And I got a couple more bust. Alright. That's cool. So now let's go to our mini-map. And we get, to, uh, we get to go ahead. Let's... Uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll go back down here. And then we'll head over to... I need to keep... I'm really bad with keeping my torches lit. Because that gives me more and more stress. And I need... I don't have a class that's going to eliminate my, my stress. So let's go this way now. There's a curio here somewhere. Okay, here it is here. So I got a holy water and a skeleton key. That's... Pretty nice. All right, so what's in this room? Oh, an encounter. Oh, and there's like an altar in the back too. Very nice. Ooh, ouch. All right. Oh, it's two of those guys that hit really hard. Let's see if I can at least. Ooh, an 18 crit. That's awesome. 
And every time that happens, that's stress. So, all right, so I'm gonna heal myself. Let's see. Can't really do anything but, but heal myself. Ouch. This thing's hurt, man. That's why I need to get my armor and my weapons upgraded as fast as I can. Just so I take less damage and do more. Nice dodge, Baryon. Let's hit him. I should have probably killed the other one, but that's okay. Oh, seven damage, wow. You can also heal yourself with the, uh, with food. You'll get like two life back every time you hit a food. Four damage. All right, Barry, and take out both these guys. There we go. All right, we're done. Oh, nice. More crests, more money. Another ruby. So let's let's click on this holy fountain. I think it's holy water I put in here. I'm not too sure. I have no clue. A divine benefit. Okay, so I got ooh, I got 20 of my stress taken away. It looks like that's nice. All right, so let's let's head up here. We've only got three rooms left, and we're not doing too bad. Although uh, Scarlet's got a lot of a lot of stress, but. There should be a uh, trap. No. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I think what I'm going to do is eat some of this food. I don't want to take a chance. So let's click on the character that I want to eat with. And let's eat some food. I think you can only eat a maximum of so many too before they actually become full. Okay, it says full. So let's give Scarlet a little bit of food. All right, I think we're good there. All right, so let's see if there's anything in this room. There is not. So where are we gonna go next? To the next room over to the right. Looks like there's a curio right there. Let's get Barry in to click on this. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff. Ooh, a uh, trinket. Holy crap, there's two trinkets. Wow, and eight foods? All right, so I don't have enough room. Oh, I can't put... I guess that doesn't go into my inventory until... Let's see if I can eat some more food. I'm full. Uh, let's get a super cheap item. I don't want to sell my torches, although I should probably... Use a couple more torches. The match is struck. A blazing star. 375. Let's get rid of this. Uh, you can shift click to get rid of it. All right. So let's let's go here. Oh, I got a grave robber trinket, which I don't have a grave robber yet, but it goes in your trinket inventory. Let's see. Hunger. All right. So now I have to eat. And if you don't do that. If you eat nothing, you take 20% uh, more damage and you get like this massive batch of uh, stress. So it's always good to have extra food. So, okay, I completed the quest, but let's continue anyway. Because remember, I still had one more room. So I, even though I completed it, I, I still want to I want to finish this place. All right. So let's see. All right. So it looks like I'm going to need to use a shovel to get rid of that obstacle. And now there's probably going to be something. Oh, oh, it just got dark. Hmm. Oh, four now. Holy shit. All right. Barian's turn. Good. Wow. It's gonna be a pretty pretty tough fight. All right, let's let's do a a blight attack on this back two group. Oh, good, and they're both blighted, and they'll take four points of damage per round for three rounds, which is nice. Okay, I am going to smite, and I'm gonna do 
15 damage on undead. So we're off to a pretty good start. One down. Oh wow, he's almost dead. He'll die next round, even if I don't touch him. Because of the blight damage. But he should die now. There you go. So two are down. So I don't really need to heal. Let's stun this guy back here. Well, actually, st we'll stun the one. All right. And he's taking the blight damage, which is nice. And then I'll go ahead and smash this guy with a big bad one. But he's debuffed and has less dodge. Wow, seven damage. It's, it's pretty tough. That guy's down. All right. Pretty much that's all I can do is try to get rid of these corpses. <laughs> he just took four more blight damage. I like that blight damage over time. It's really nice. All right, let's uh, just smite him. All right. So I got bandages. Man, I don't, I don't have too much room. I guess I could probably go ahead and, and eat food to free up an inventory spot. And then I also have, let's see, he's full, let's go to Baryon. And then I have that chest also. So you really have to watch what you know, you're know you doing here. This is an heirloom chest, I'm not gonna take a chance. I'm gonna unlock it. Looks like more crest, which is really good. Oh, I don't have enough room. Are you kidding me? Come on. Let's see. What can I get rid of? That's cheap. The bandage is 15 gold. All right, let's get rid of this bandage. Okay. It sucks that you have to get rid of something for items to go into a stack, which, I mean, that's cool. So now I'm done. This is actually a really good run. But Scarlet, she's got quite a bit of stress. She's got 72 stress. And uh, we've got Kalash. He's got 58 stress. So let's go ahead and complete the quest. And now it'll basically sell everything in my inventory. Except for the two trinkets that I got. Which is actually kind of lucky. And then those will go into my trinket inventory. And then I can give those to any other of my heroes that can use them. I really need this crest. Crests are really important. All right, so now I've got some experience. Wow, all four of my heroes. Shem got Ruminator, 10% less stress yield. Got to get... That sucks. Scarlet got the Shocker. <laughs> Minus 10 stun. And plus four speed on the first round. Varian got Night Owl. Plus two speed if the torch is below 26. And then Kalash got Cove Explorer. So every time you get like a little mini level, you'll get another quirk. Either a positive quirk or a negative quirk. So not too bad. So now we'll return to town. We're back to the hamlet. And we'll have two more heroes at the end of uh, week two. So we'll do a little bit of tidying up here. So now we unlock the tavern and we unlock the abbey. So here's the tavern that I was telling you about. The tavern's for stress release. So you can drink your cares away. You can uh, gamble. And then you can go to the brothel. The caretaker, <laughs> the caretaker, he's like... He's just like a random guy that eats up one of your your stress relieving spots, whether it be here or at the uh, sanitarium or at the abbey. These three uh, locations will get rid of your stress. So let's uh, see where else did we unlock? We unlock the abbey, which is like the the church. So you have uh, you can do meditation, you can pray. Or you can uh, flatulate yourself. 
But then again, some of the, the heroes, the quirks that they have, like some, uh, some of the heroes can't gamble in town. Some will do only nothing. They'll do nothing but pray or nothing but meditate or something like that. So, but you can update the abbey. Uh, you can improve the facilities uh, for, for all three different uh, functions that you can get rid of stress. So I'm saving all my currency still. Remember, we're saving. Uh, the blacksmith is not unlocked yet. The guild's not unlocked. I'm not unlocking any of this stuff. I'm saving all this for those. So let's go to the stagecoach. We've got a couple more uh, heroes that we can that we can get. We can get a bounty hunter, so let's get him. And then a seeker, which is a well, a, a leper. So the leper, and they're all these guys are both level zero. I, I probably do want I probably do want the uh, the leper in my group. I might get rid of the the plague doctor. Uh, but it looks like the the bounty hunter he is a like a melee character looks like he gets some call drops and flash bangs mostly melee moves and he eats up spot two or three and let's see the leper is is actually pretty good he's a another like a like a crusader type and he he likes spot one and two also well yeah really like spot one like well shimmer can do one or two so maybe what i'll do is i'll run the leper in spot one i'll run shim in spot two and then i run uh barian in three but then again i i'm gonna need heals and scarlet um uh, will be in four but then again the unfortunate thing is is she's got a bunch of stress already so we're gonna have to do some stress relief for her so we're kind of in a pickle for heals uh because she's the only healing option that i have right now except for kel ash but kel ash has just got a little simple you know one heal But that's the chance that I'm taking because I'm not, you know, I'm not upgrading my stagecoach. So that's sort of the chance that I'm taking. All right. So I can't do anything with the blacksmith. I can't do anything with the guild yet. I've recruited two players. So I think that's it for week two. Let's uh, see what we have for missions that I've unlocked. All right. That's cool. Now I'm level one in the runes. It looks like there is another couple of quests that have opened up. A, another level one apprentice quest. A looks like a, a scout quest. And then a, a skirmish level one apprentice skirmish quest. And then there is another level one. And those are those are medium. So the medium the medium uh, quests, if I'm not mistaken, have places to camp. I haven't used the camp mechanic yet, but I know you have to be in a special zone to camp. And then when you camp, you know, you'll use your camping skills and stuff. Try to get rid of as, as much stress as you can, heal as much as you can, all that other stuff. So, all right, everybody. Well, I think that's going to be it for week number two of darkest dungeon off to a good start i'd like to get that bard though i really would like to get that bard so when we start up next time uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do some trinket management and then we'll go ahead and head off and do another one of these short level level one uh adventures so thanks everybody for watching leave a comment down in the comment section below and I highly recommend Darkest Dungeon. It's a fun game. So I'll see you next time, and we'll start off with week three. Until next time, happy gaming.